Hey, what's up YouTube? It is Captain Shock here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play the map Skydog. And that was my opening rush. You push to this head glitch and you stay behind and you strafe and you take them out. But you have to hold your aim and use an LMG or an assault rifle. If you're using a submachine gun, that's not a wise idea to head glitch there because the range is too far for you. So just jump up into the middle and wall run and flank them. So watch as I come into this building here. This is the power position of the entire map. You want to hold this a bit longer than the enemy team. The direct opposite side where I'm looking at, where I'm pre-aiming at, that's a mini power position. But the place where I am right now is the main power position. But as always, you don't want to stay there too long. Now I'm flanking around here. I take him out and watch this now. This is why I prefer this side. Now the first part of the gameplay is a bit slow, but you'll see the reason why. They keep coming at me and I'm put placing myself at an advantage by going prone. And you can see I'm taking them out from the war run or when they push the and they have no chance of killing me because I have the better positioning than them. They have no cover. Now I move around here and they normally push from that side, so always pre-aim it. And I see the skulls over there. So I'm pushing this spawn here and they will not spawn here. Hopefully, so they will spawn on the opposite side where I'm heading to now. So hopefully I can get a flank on and shoot them from behind. So I take this guy out and always be careful of this area. And this sniper in particular was actually really good, I must admit. And you can see I'm going for my camo challenges as well. So I'm pushing back here now and it's a bit building you can pass through. So I recommend going around and going through that building because you will die like that. So navigate through the building at the back and you will see me doing it in the video as it goes along. So now I'm pushing back here again. Always be careful of someone there. There could be potentially two people normally around this area. So you have to keep your wits about you. You know, don't just run through without checking anything. You can see I'm checking a corner as well. And this is the building I'm talking about. So you learn from your mistakes and learn from my mistakes as well. So push through these buildings at the back and you will have better cover when moving along. So I tag him up a bit and I'm searching for him, I slide across, I kill him. Because the sniper was probably the most dangerous guy in the game because he can kill you with one shot instantly. So now that I kill him, I'm just going to peek it. This is the other mini power position now, this is important. They're normally going to be ahead in the opposite building or if you stay here too long, they're going to flank around like this. This is why I'm checking the flanks. Also check the wall run to the right of me. They love to wall run from the middle and come to this area and kill you from the wall run. So always be careful of that. Now when you're here, you're just checking this building and the one to your 12 o'clock and then to the right because they push from the right on the floor over there, down the middle. So always be careful of that area and always check your six. This is important. Very important as well. You see, they love spawning over there and they will push that. It's easy killings for you, easy points. And now I move away. Never stay too long. You got your kills, then move away. Don't be too greedy. And look, I know he's going to push me, so I go straight prone again, the same thing like I did on the other side. And how easy is that? Be careful of them throwing stuns and grenades at you. That's why you never do things too long, you always change it up. And I'm just taking them out and taking advantage of them, pushing blindly like zombies, you know. You're taking advantage of them without any awareness, they're playing without any awareness. And this is what I teach as well, the awareness is very important. I'm showing you guys, you know I make jokes about the enemies. But I'm showing you guys as well not to do the things that they do because they will die easily. And I'm showing you here as evidence. So now I'm pre-aiming that area as well, there as well. And I'm also checking the wall run. And now I'm going to flank around because it's open, right? So you have to be careful of that. And he gets taken out. I get my throw. He gets blasted as well. Look at that. I'm going in now. Boom. Dead. Easy. And I will bring the death zones for each map in future videos coming up. So make sure and stay tuned for that. It's very important. And I get into my Thor here, and I like using the single fire rocket. I think it's a lot better on this map than the cluster rocket, you know, the three that fires out. The new update just rolled out as well, so apparently they buffed the advanced UAV where you can see ghost now, so which is really good. So I'm going to be using the advanced UAV, checking it out, see how good it is. But 30 seconds is a bit too short, in my opinion, and it doesn't, it's not a constant advanced UAV, it just pulses like a normal UAV. You can see I'm being very patient as well with the rockets. I'm saving them. I'm waiting for the right time for them to push out. Because sometimes if you stop firing, they think the toy is gone, you know. 
they don't really check their mini map, they're not really aware. So when they push out blindly again, and then I fire the rockets and I kill them. It's a very nice technique to use, and you will see it making a difference. When the game works well, it's very fun, so I really appreciate that. And you know, obviously the game will become better and better when the patches roll out and you fine tune everything. So hopefully the spawn system is fixed as well. So now I respawn back into the game and I'm pushing around through this building. You see what I'm doing? I'm learning from my mistakes. I'm always pushing there now. Most of the times, I take that guy out. And watch this now. I'm tired toying up with these guys. So I just bring some violence to them. So I put it on my special ability, which makes me run faster. And I just destroy them. Look, they don't stand a chance. When I push it a little faster. And then I move around. I flank around here. Just in case someone was waiting there. And I turn around. And there's one more gremlin there. So I take him out. He's a dead man as well. And I'm look, check in the middle, of course they always love to push there, and they're dead. That's what happens, you know. When I bring some violence to these guys, and you can see someone message me, he asked me before to teach him. You know, I get messages like this a lot. So I just direct them to my YouTube now to help them out. That's one of the main reasons why I start the channel, to help people out, because I always get asked by other players, you know, to help them out and show them, teach them. So that's what I'm doing. And remember I told you there's always one or two players back here when you push this side to be careful. So I put on my speedrun ability and look at this Campero man, look at this Campero. And I take his Amigo out as well, boom, and you as well boy. Now I'm coming around through this building, see, following a pattern which is good. You're doing discipline, you're following the procedures and it works, it's proven, it's tested. I come on the wall run and he gets wrecked off the wall run, boy don't come at me like that. So I'm just tearing up the enemy team now, the game is coming to an end. They're gonna need pampers at the end of this. So I tried a little more harder in this gameplay just to hit that 60 kills in TDM. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please leave a like if you did. Thank you again for sharing the videos. Much appreciated. And do subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. Bye. Mission success.